Fear has a voice and sometimes it yells and screams at us. It tries to intimidate us into submission. Fear paralyzes us and stops us from becoming what God desires us to be. When you look into scripture, you encounter a young shepherd boy by the name of David who goes out to visit his brothers on the battlefield. And when he gets there, he finds that the whole army of Israel is cowering in fear before the intimidation of a mountain of a man named Goliath. Goliath would come out every morning and evening at the time of prayer to yell obscenities and intimidate his enemies. What David realized was that when God is for you, who can be against you? So David didn't look at the size of his enemy. David looked at the size of his God because he realized that fear paralyzes us, but faith releases us into the area that God desires us to be. So David stepped out on the battlefield and he didn't hesitate to go up against a giant. See, fear is like that. It tries to scare us into submission and stop us from doing anything productive in our life. I want to encourage you today to let you know that fear does not have a hold of you. God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. And with this sound mind, David realized that he is able to defeat this giant. Because you, like David, are designed to be a giant slaying, fear devastating, anointed child of God. You are an amazing individual that God has chosen to equip to overcome fear. So don't let fear intimidate you. Remember, when fear paralyzes, faith releases. So allow your faith to be released and let God do something amazing through your life.